when you're buying a house particularly, you need help. Uh, and I mean the proper help, someone that's going to understand the needs of the other person. And if the person's needs are a certain way, I suggest it. And if they follow through, wonderful. And if not, it's okay. But I try to help people as much as I can. I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for to help whoever I can. You really have to have um, the right outlook to be a realtor. And you have to think positive all the time. The real estate is, a uh, is like an umbrella and we're all working under the umbrella. So we have to support that um umbrella. I appreciate it when the realtors give back to what they do. And that's why I'm passionate. But my main focus is really trying to raise money to feed the hungry kids of the city in the high needs areas. And people just don't believe it in this rich province, there are still children coming to school without any food. And I admire the foundation because we do everything we can to help those that are in stress. How much money have you raised yourself for the Realtors Community Foundation over the years? Well, I'm not sure, but it's way over a hundred thousand. I'm not an official fundraiser. I just do something that I like to do. And I always give everybody a pat on the back. You've got to say, I might have said to you when Bessie comes along, either either they're going to run, or run the other way because they're going to ask for money. You know, it's always with a smile and a joke. And so I don't have any problems. Uh, there's never anybody that's a actually that I've ever asked said no, not one person. If I get an award or some recognition, I always say the recognition should go to the people that helped me get here because as all their donations and all the money that they donated is what gave me the recognition. But in reality, they should have the recognition.